gang, gang, you know, gang up with that gang, you know what I'm saying? It's your boy Jay Munchie, you know what I'm saying? I'm back with another reaction video, you know what I'm saying? Hey, now, I'm doing this reaction video for a couple of reasons. I need to learn about what's the difference between Micronesia uh, and all Islander uh, regions and islands and countries, right? Okay, so... This is Islander Munchie TV. Welcome, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe, turn on your post notifications. Wait, 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 wait. Before you do that, make sure, make sure that you wash your hands, okay? Make sure that you stay home, okay? From the COVID-19 and make sure that you practice social distancing and make sure that you do not touch your face, okay? Try your best not to touch your face, okay? And if you do, Make sure that you wash your hands and your face immediately. All right. So, um, hope y'all guys staying safe. And um, we are going to react to the federal federated states of Micronesia from Geography Now. Okay. So we about to learn because I want to make sure that nobody is tricking me because people tell me Samoans are not considered to be under the Micronesian. Because uh, Micronesia, I ain't. It's confusing. I don't know if it's a state or if it's a uh, like the United Kingdom where you got London, uh, Sweden, fin uh, Finland, Switzerland, and all that. You know what I'm saying? Um, so that's what I thought Micronesia was. I thought it was a broad term for Fijians, Tongans, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Now I do notice that I uh, searching for all his all the uh, Islander content and only see Fiji. Australia as separated um, provinces or islands or countries, you know what I'm saying? Um, but I'm going to learn, you know what I'm saying? And when I say those three things, it meaning some of them are islands, some of them are countries, etc., etc. So Fiji, I think Fiji is definitely an island. So anyway, let's get into this reaction video. You know what I'm saying? You're not getting stupid, and I booked the wrong. We weren't able to film in the studios, so I had to improvise and we filmed in my house. So the next two episodes are going to have the same quality of how we used to film the episodes back in like 2016. Relatively poor ex- Wait, YouTube, YouTube what? Did you say YouTube? You say a YouTube, like, uh, you go to like, YouTube got like some type of building where you can go to and shoot your videos at? Is that, is that what he just, is that what he referring to? Because I didn't know that. I think that's what he means. I don't know. If somebody know what he means, let me know. Echoey audio quality and very visible black backdrop. But I did not want to not upload a video this week, so I had to give you something. I mean, these Geography Now videos are mostly just about the information, right? 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 Eh, I'm sorry, guys. But anyway, I tried my best, and I still wanted to give you a video this week. So without Yay. further ado, here we go. <laughs> It's time to learn geography, geography now. now. Wanna hear a Micronesia joke? No. no. Too bad. Imagine a dog named Ray on a dinner date. When the bill came, he had to use his paw and pay, but then was chook and surprised because Ray was broke. Yep. All right, that's Forrest Rex. You know the drill. <laughs> so worth it. Oh, and hey, Noah's back. Hey. He said so worth it. Orbit driver. I am Carly, yeah. your passenger. Your passenger. Are you famous? Are you famous? <laughs> Do it look like I'm famous. <laughs> Yo, that movie is crazy. Let me know if anybody watches that movie, uh, any of my islanders. Let me know how that movie is. It looks corny. It's like they like caught one of the best dramatic scenes in the movie where that that is a good scene though, I'm not gonna lie. But I'm like, if that's like the most intense part. You know what I'm saying? Most entertaining part, that would be dumb. You know what I'm saying? But it looks entertaining, though. It does look entertaining, but I don't know. Anyway, let's get back to this reaction. Goddamn ads. For the record, in this episode, I'm just going to refer to the country as Micronesia because the official title is too long, the Federated States of Micronesia. <laughs> you get what I'm saying. Anyway, I love Pacific Island nations because they probably get the least amount of coverage in terms of global awareness, which means Geography Now gets to be a platform for the obscure. Plus, you know, it kind of adds to the Oceania playlist. First... Okay, so this is... So, I might change the name to Islander Oceana Munchie TV. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, 
That's is that the term I could use to represent all islanders, Oceana? Because people be going to my comment section on my music reaction videos, and they do not. Oh, it's it's not uh, it's not uh, Samoan. It's Fiji. It's not Samoan. It's not Micronesian. It's Samoan. I'm like, like I just seen American Samoa Island on the map just now. So I don't know if that's part of the federal states, but that means people is giving me misinformation. So. Now I'm getting that actual factual information, y'all saying, and uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying. So if anybody be lying to me, I'ma know who you are. You dig? You know what I'm saying? And you won't be able to uh, steer me the wrong way no more. Call. The country lies in the sub-region of the Pacific Ocean, known as Micronesia, which is obviously where the country gets oh. its name from, which also includes oh, the wait, states. Oh wait, 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 wait. He said. He said the ocean is named Micronesia. Then I see Melanesia either too. So it's the body. So Micronesia. How is it called Micronesia? Polynesia. Oh, it depends on what part of the world is it. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it depends on what part of the world is that. So Micronesia is in the center of Oceania. Polynesia is to farther right of the world. And then Melanesia is more southern of the world. Okay. So, which also includes the states of Palo, Pala, how do you say that? Palo, Nauru, and parts of Kiribati. Okay. And parts of Kiribati. So, not the whole Kiribati, I guess. Palau, Nauru, parts of Kiribati, and the U.S. territories Kiribati. of Guam and the Northern Mariana Islands and Wake Island. The country is made up of 607 islands, sometimes collectively referred to as the Caroline Islands. These take up over a million square miles of ocean. Okay, so this is called the Carolina Islands. Okay. Territory and their exclusive economic zone. However, in land surface area, they only make up about 217 square miles. All mm. the islands are divided into four states made up of island clusters. They are Yap, Chuk, Pompeii, not Pompeii, Pompeii. Oh, Pompeii. Don't forget this little Pompeii. straggler, Kapitan Pompeii. Maranke Pompeii. belongs to Pompeii. it. And finally, Little Kosre, which is really only like one little island with a few small islets off its coast. It's wow. the only state with no atolls. The capital, Palakir, is located on Pompeii, Pompeii, the largest, highest, and most populous island in the entire nation. However, the largest city city in itself is actually Weno on the Chuk Atoll. The country has four international airports, one for each of the states, the busiest ones being Pompeii and Chuk, whereas one domestic airport lies on Uliti. There are also small airfields and airstrips located on various islands across the country for shipping and deliveries. Today, mm. they do kind of have a small dispute with Spain over that little straggler guy, Kapinga Marangi. Apparently, when oh, the Spanish shit. sold off their islands to the German Germans, Eugenia. this little guy kind of wasn't part of the deal. Eventually, just kind of de facto landed in Micronesia's claim. Otherwise, most of the urban centers are located on the large mountainous islands, three of which, Pompeii, Chuk, and Yap, host shipping harbors. If you look close to Chuk's harbor, they kind of have a ship that failed. Anyway, just like we talked about in the Marshall Islands episode, Micronesia is also a compact of free association agreement state with the United States. Yada, yada, yada. You've heard it before. No, no I have I'm a new subscriber. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, some people are new to this channel. Uh, well, basically, in the quickest way I can summarize it. Doo -doo -doo. All right, okay, I think we're uh, kind of ready to be our own thing now. Woohoo! Oh, wait, you know, I already built all these bases. We have all these cool trade deals, diplomatic agreements with other nations. You guys seem to like that spam stuff Damn. as well, and the burgers I introduced. I mean, do you really want to start from scratch? Hmm? I mean, yes, but I don't know. Maybe we can kind of like keep this thing going, but also by relinquishing your official hold on us so we kind of have like a nominal claim to independence. Right. Oh, Mikey, it's like you've been reading my diary. And that's, <laughs> that's terrible. Nah, every every everybody want their own independence. I always talk about that um, on my other channel, of the Universal Royal Empire, where that's why it's called the Universal Empire. Everybody is, everybody, every human being, every ethnic group, every race is allowed to be independent. You know what I'm saying? And um. Countries that has control like that over other countries, and I am American, Africa, you know, I live in the United States. Yeah, I do feel like even other countries that does it to other countries, you know what I'm saying, or islands, provinces, regions, because Russia has a lot of provinces, you know what I'm saying, I know some of them provinces probably want their own independence, you know what I'm saying, but these countries won't let them to some extent, which is not kind of fair, so to speak. But it's kind of the same thing with Turkey, it's like, if you, if you, if you move to Turkey, you have to become a Turk, right? You have to classify yourself as a 
Turkish person. Identify yourself as a Turkish person. You know what I'm saying? I know Kurds and some other uh, races that move to Turkey don't want to convert to being a Turk. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, just like these people. So my thing is, you got the Yap, the Chuk, and there was one more that I forget about. You know what I'm saying? So now this is a little, this is extremely confusing. So I'm going to try to... Basically how it happened in the 80s. And speaking of which, some notable sites of the country might include Nan Mandol, the Yap Stones, Chuk Yap Lagoon, Stones. one of the world's biggest wartime ship graveyards, Tamayok Trail, the the Lelu and Menke ruins on Kosrae, the petroglyphs on Pompeii, the Japanese yeah, era sites like the old lighthouse, the Nepo mm. Cave, the Yap Art Gallery Studio, Yap's Living History Museum, Ooh, and honestly, oh, probably the coolest there. thing to do would just be but, walking uh, around the streets the of any the village and finding you know? a cool cafe or mom and pop shop. Just chill. You're in Micronesia, the entire country in itself is kind of a spectacle to be a part of, and mm. especially when you notice the landscape. Yeah, I just I noticed that. Very beautiful. Look, very tropical. Now, unlike some of their neighbors, Micronesia got lucky and snagged a few solid, fully formed mountainous islands. And when you have hills, you have an advantage. First of all, the country is spread across the Western Pacific Ocean on a smaller subregion of the Greater Pacific Plate, known as the Caroline Plate, formed by the underwater sorrel trough. Mount Nonlod on Pompeii is the highest peak of the country, where the longest river, the Ledao, flows. Yap and the atolls are. Around the country that cross over the Philippine Plate, over mm. the Yap Trench, the islands were basically formed from underwater volcanoes that either partially or fully breached the surface, or both. The ones that had the edges breached became atolls, the ones that had the center breached became full-on islands, and then there was a third kind, which the center and a few edges were breached, which became lagoons. So there you go, Oceanic Geology 101. And this is the part where I take a triple shot of espresso break, that means making his triumphant return, you love him, my physical geography segment co-host, Noah! <laughs> Hey, you look a little different. Then what you mean? The good news is the islands get quite a bit of rain, so fresh water is never too hard to come by. Most people collect it for daily use. The islands with mountains oh. are able to harbor small rivers and creeks, Pompeii alone having over 40. Some wow, creating that's beautiful, beautiful waterfalls. Otherwise, that you can hike so in beautiful good. natural sites like the Socas Rock or so Scuba Dive. Rock. She doesn't have a natural blue animal, hole. but it is a bird Put it in haven. The blue hole. Species like the Truk Monarch, the Pon Pelori, the Coast Ray Greater White Eye are all endemic to the islands. Economy wise, the country mostly depends on agriculture. They come up with a great idea on how to capitalize off of their vast open ocean territory. Uh, hey, hey, you have a lot of ocean. Yeah. With fish in it. Yeah, so? I want to go fish in it. Hmm. Pay up a couple million dollars and we'll give you a seasonal license. And that's how they subsidize a part of their GDP. Food wise, we have the typical percent. island staples, taru, breadfruit, bananas, and of course, pretty much any kind of fish they can catch Yo, will be on the menu. Don't be surprised to find betel nuts everywhere, a sort of chewing tobacco substitute that people on all islands use. Wow. Sakao is a popular Little drink, nuts. especially on Pompeii. It has relaxing Pom, effects and is made from Pom, squeezing Pom, the roots Pom, of the pepper shrub Pom, in the inner bark Pom. of the It's kind of like the coffee oh, we talked about. Hey, Beak. About the Fiji episode. It's a great social drink the locals enjoy. Oh, hibikis? It's like a. I don't know what this happened. Hibikis is. Uh, I've done tea before. I think I had this lemon uh, camille hibikis tea. I know I had hibikis tea. So is that an island thing? Like an island plant or something like that? It's really good, actually. I actually had some. So y'all want me to do a reaction video? I mean, yeah, if you want y'all want to see a video on me drinking some island ocean tea? Let me know in the comment section. You did, you know what I'm saying? We'll get togethers, and that brings us to the demographics. Yay! Yay! Demographics. Each of us wanted to do something meaningful. What do you think of all these damn things? Like? Imagine I had to really wait for that long ass damn ad. Like, come on, bro. Come on, YouTube. Damn. And then look, look, look. Thank you, Noah. Follow him on Instagram. All right, so if you're new to this channel, one thing you'll have to learn is when it comes to ocean people, there's a difference between Melanesia, Thank Micronesia, you. and okay. Polynesia. Yeah. Micronesians are interesting because it's kind of like each island has its own story and tradition. It's like.
If you met cousin once and didn't see them again for 15 years, they'd probably change a lot, but you'd still be family. First of all, the country has about 105,000 oh. people and has about a 3% birth rate. The majority of the country is ethnically Micronesian, however split up into four distinct ethno-linguistic groups. About half of the population are Chukis, a quarter are Pompeian, 10% Yapis and Outer Yapis, about 6% Kosrayan, and the rest of the country is made up of other groups, mostly Kosrayan. Americans, the Asians, Kosrayan? and Polynesians. They use the American dollar as their currency, they use the Types AV plug out and they drive on the right side of the road. However, some of their cars might have steering wheels on the right side, so it's kind of weird. Yeah, English is the weird. official language used between all peoples, but there are eight other recognized indigenous languages Chukis. spoken throughout the island, including two Polynesian languages spoken by the people on Nukuoro and Kapingamarangi. The Micronesian languages are all related, however, some of the words are completely unintelligible. For example, for hello, you have Mogatin, Ran Alim, Kaseledia, Len Wo. Yeah, they don't even sound anything alike, and each one has less than 50,000 speakers, so it shows how far the cousins can change when you're separated by thousands of miles of water for centuries. Culturally speaking, the people here come from a long yet mysterious line of chiefdoms, clans, traditions, and customs mostly rooted in oral tradition passed down through generations. There's a legend of the twin sorcerers that created Nan Madol. Supposedly they had the help of a flying dragon, and that's how the first dynasty was supposedly started. Not only that, but on Yap, the residents literally used these huge stone discs known as rye stones as their rye. currency, technically rye the stone. largest currency in the world. Thousands of Rai music. You can also find Algerian traditional houses music. called Peebai and Falu. They also use canoes with plated leaf sails. The Chuk Islands has a tradition of love sticks that they kind of use for dating. The man is supposed to poke his crush, and if she accepts, she's supposed to grab the sharp stick and pull him in. Essentially, though, what? you see a lot of remnants of the former colonized society. For example, like, hey, no girl, shocker, they speak girl. English with an American accent and generally keep up with American media and trends. They love rice too, even though it doesn't grow there. It was introduced from various nations especially the Japanese okay. most Micronesians at about 97% are Christians okay. introduced mostly through the Americans Germans and Spanish about half of them are Protestant half are Catholic the more west you go closer to the Philippines it becomes more Catholic the more east it becomes more Protestant speaking of production of out Outside influences, history. Ancient Austronesian people probably from Southeast Asia sailed in. Chieftain based societies established. The Yap people developed quite a unique economic and religious culture. Nan Madol is built, starting the Sadler dynasty. Portuguese come by, but they don't really care too much. The Spanish pass by and care very much. They hold on to it and make it part of the Spanish East Indies. They build the town of Colonia on Pompeii. The Spanish American War caused Spain to sell the islands to Germany. Then it became German New Guinea. World War One, the Japanese Germany, come in and take it. World War II, Operation Hailstone. The UN agrees that the US should administer the islands as a trust territory. Yap, Chuk, Pompeii, and Kosrae agree to join up and create a constitution for independence. Then they all signed the Compact of Free Association with the US in 1986. Compact renewed in 2004. And here we are today. Some notable people who are either Micronesian or from the Federated States of Micronesia might include people like Tosiwo Nakayama, James H. Newman, Leo Falcom, Deborah Daniel, Jesse Che Mori, Orphan Ozeki, Ralinda, Manuel Mingingfell, Michael Jones McKean, Mitter Wendt. Gwendolyn, and Kirsten Hadley. To be honest, it was a little difficult to find some of those people. I had to search Micronesian message boards. I don't know, if you just so happen to be a Micronesian person watching this video, please feel free to revise that list if you want. Anyway, friend zone. <laughs> Since independence in the 80s, Micronesia has built up a lot of international ties. They have ties to over 80 countries and four permanent Damn. embassies in China, Fiji, Hell Japan, yeah. and the U.S. For one, China and India have both kind of competed to see who can cozy up to the islands more. China has built things like a gymnasium. They donated police cars and built a giant clam farm on Kosrae. India has given them farming machinery and offers scholarship grants. Of course, the USA is the biggest trade partner and supporter of overall infrastructure and development. Right. As part of the Compact Association, Micronesians have access to U.S. services like post still in communications. They can move about freely working and living in each other's countries. Micronesians are even allowed to serve in the U.S. military. However, wow. they don't share the same benefits as U.S. citizen military personnel. Micronesia is part of the Nauru Agreement, a union of eight signatories in Oceania that control nearly a third of the world's tuna supply. They regulate fishing laws and manage wow. business together. All these so what's nations, the name of those countries or islands that they just the show the plan? The Marshall Islands and Palau. These two are also compact association agreement members with the U.S. Out of these two though Micronesia might be a little bit closer to Palau. They have a little closer history. Those Yap stones were actually mined and transported from Palau. They love each other's music and whenever they get the chance to see each other it's like family reunion all over again. But the Marshall Islands are invited too. In conclusion, the Federated States of Micronesia are kind of like the four musketeer cousins that hadn't seen each other in a long time. They could barely speak to each other but somehow they came together in 1986 and showed the world that an island culture can thrive well into the new era. Stay tuned! 
Moldova is coming up next. Hey. Now, what, what I thought I was going to get from the video was what islands belong to which. So I need a video that tells me that, but I'm going to find it. You know what I'm saying? If you know a video that lets me know exactly, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm just, like I said, I'm just tired of some people coming in the comment section. Instead of commenting that you enjoy me watching and reacting to the video, people is always quick to just, oh, it's not, it's not Samoan, it's not, it's not Micronesian, it's not Polynesian, it's not, it's not, it's not Fijian, it's not, it's not, it's not New Zealander, like, shut the hell up, like, goddamn, some of y'all just idiots, like, you're not going to tell me the correct information, just like what he said, just, just tell me the correct information, if you're going to sit there and point out that, I'm wrong about something. I'm not Islander, bitch. Okay? I'm not from the Oceania. You know what I'm saying? I'm Afro-American, and I love my Islanders, or should I say Oceanic people. You know what I'm saying? So let me know what's the proper name. I think Islander is safe because Islander is like, you know what I'm saying? That's all Islanders. You know what I'm saying? But Islanders really resort to islands. You know what I'm saying? So maybe I could just call it Oceania Munchie TV. Instead of that, because you got lagoons, you know what I'm saying? So I can't, I mean, I could call it Lagoon Munchie TV, right? I could call it, there was another one too that they mentioned. I those. so we're not doing all that, you know what I'm saying? So I think I either keep it Islander Munchie TV, and I might change it in the future to Oceania uh, Munchie TV, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, this is, you know what I'm saying, the federal states of Micronesia. And uh, can y'all please tell me which is which? God, I, mean, I still didn't figure out that part. Very good information, though.